All right, so we're going to um, clone a private Git repository that comprises all the source code for our um, new proof of concept. So at the welcome screen for WebStorm, I'm going to go ahead and select checkout from version control and select Git since we're on a privately hosted uh, Git repository on Amazon's code commit. And what we'll want to do is change the git repository URL to be the code commit repository that we're going to connect to. So in this case, it'll be https colon backslash backslash or forward slash forward slash uh, git dash code commit dot us west dash two dot amazon aws.com forward slash v1 forward slash repos forward slash uh, name of the project in this case a haiku project um, let me make sure I didn't mistype that so let's click uh, test real quick it says connection to the haiku code commit repository was established successfully in this case which is great um, uh, let's see, I'm just going to leave the default, um, normally you could just leave the defaults as is. I think I already have Haiku in my WebStorm project, so my directory name, I'm just going to say Haiku dash code commit. But, um, normally I would just leave these as the defaults if you didn't already have a copy of the code on, on your workstation like I do. Um, so uh, for most of the time, you'll just accept the default parent directory and directory name. Um, let's see. Then um, let's click clone. Give it a chance to download all the source code. And then I'll say yes, I would like to do that. And I'll run npm install as recommended by WebStorm. So that way I can pull down all the uh, dependencies. And if in the project view I drop down this list and click on the README, I can get an idea of how this project's put together. Um, and there you have it. We'll pull down our first. Um, our first project from code commit and let's go to version control log and um, I would recommend taking a look at the log here to get an idea this is basically the git history of this repository you see who contributed and the dates and times get an idea this is really good when you're testing out ideas and if something breaks or is unexpected or you want to see what's changed in the project, you could click through this and you can see all the little files that have changed throughout the life cycle of the project. So I recommend just take a look at those. Um, maybe even click on show diff so you can see what changed. You see in this case I added a user to code commits. So they have access to this repository. And the beginning of the project is just establishing uh, new files based upon the AWS Serverless Express um, example provided by AWS Labs. So there you have it, uh, our first project down from CodeCommit.